Champions Field outside right now, getting you ready, taking you all the way down to the start of Commander's Eagles. We've got a live audience. Oh, the it. children yeah, it's a going out here. We've got our players to watch and our game picks coming up in just a bit. But first, a look at Jalen Hurts on the field. He has the Eagles off to a perfect 8-0 start. And a couple of weeks ago, our friends at NFL Films mic'd him up in their win over the Steelers in the Battle of Pennsylvania. Take a look. Coach. All the best to you and yours, brother. Much respect. Same here. You come to the moment. You take advantage of the moment. We play together. Yep. We dog together. Yep. We run this stuff together. Yep. Eagles on three. One, two, three. Hey, can we turn the heat on? Yo, turn set. He is going deep for A.J. Brown, who leaps, comes down with the football. It's a touchdown. You cannot throw a football better than that. He is going deep down the far side, and it is A.J. He is firing wide open Pascal, and he is in for the touchdown. And that was big, though. That was a big touchdown right there. You may now officially say the 7-0 Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, that Hurts guy, pretty good. We are minutes <laughs> to kick here. Uh, David, a little bit earlier in the show, m -Rob talked about some of the skill set that Jalen brings to the table, why it's unique, why he should be in that MVP conversation. They're undefeated, but what's the expectation tonight for him? Well, the same, the same as he's been doing all year. The, really, the, the beauty of Jalen Hurts, watching him since he was a rookie and his progression, watching him last week in the pocket against a really good pass defense for the Houston Texans, he was almost perfect. Like, it was hard to find a read or a throw that he did not make. So when I look at the Philadelphia Eagles, I don't know how you beat them. Like, look at the, the rest of the guys in the list. Like, there's weaknesses everywhere, and Philly hasn't really shown any. And I know I'm partial to the Giants, and I'm hoping they can pull it out maybe once or twice and kind of ruin that thing. But <laughs> yeah. look, I'm just being honest. That's I'm just telling the truth. But I don't like see how I'm they're going to really do it, you know? <laughs> like that's, when you watch Philly, like the way the Jalen's throwing it from the pocket, it's incredible. Yeah. Right? He, he always run the football is great, but my goodness, it's going to be tough. Taylor honey has got his work cut out for him. He does, M. Rob, in a lot of ways. There is some different swag to this commander's team, though, since he's taken over. Yeah, the, the swag is different because when Taylor Heineke is behind the center, Everybody, all the ball, all the guys on the outside have an opportunity to catch the football. He right. throws it to all of them. Kind of like, i.e., the guy that used to back up Carson Wentz in Philly, uh, Nick <laughs> Foles. He used to give these guys an, an opportunity again. And that's why I think um, the guys on the outside play harder. I also think they need to operate this offense through the running game and control the line of scrimmage on both sides of the football. And defensively, they have to be able to get after Jalen Hurts, too. Because that's one thing I don't think we've seen yet. Jalen Hurts completely leading passes and making big plays while he's been under pressure. Yeah, that's a good point. Individual players, of course, super important, but we're always trying to see which matchup is going to light it up. Which one are you watching closely, David? Well, going off of what Imrob was talking about, if Taylor Heineke is going to have success, it's got to be with Terry McLaurin. Yeah. And Terry McLaurin, has, he's got a big task because Darius Slay, right, he's been fantastic. You look at the numbers, right, when people target Darius Slay, lowest quarterback rating in the league over any other player on defense, right? So he's he's in your playbook, right? He knows what you're doing, but Terry's a good he's a good matchup for him. This is going to be a lot of fun to watch those two guys go at it because I guarantee they're going to be locked up this entire game. It's going to be so much fun to watch, but it's key for Taylor to have success. Terry's got to go off. I know M. Rob was taking down a lot of notes earlier. Which is your matchup, M. Rob? Yeah, my matchup has to be Montez Sweat, pass rusher for the Washington Commanders against Jordan Mailata, the left yeah, tackle good one. Good one. for the Philadelphia Eagles. Because, again, when you saw last week when this Philadelphia team went up against the Houston Texans, Jerry Hughes had a day. Yeah, it's good Jerry yep. Hughes was getting after Jalen Hurts, and he gave Jordan Mailata a lot of issues. Montez Sweat um, has some of those same attributes. He can bend. He's very, very wiry of a player. He understands how to turn the corner and he gets after quarterbacks for the Washington Commanders. So, so I really think the passing game for the Philadelphia Eagles is going to depend on this matchup. Yeah, that's a good point that you make. And I think the pressure thing is something that we can't understate. That's really the only time that I've seen them struggle, right? Yep. And when you, when you talk about Jalen, that's going to be the natural progression. There's going to come a point in this, this season, maybe it's in the playoffs, maybe it's tonight, right? Mm -hmm. Where he's going to be under pressure. He's going to be asked to make critical throws, right? They, he was under a little bit of pressure and he didn't make great plays, yep. right? When he was clean, it was easy. He's making good reads. He's getting it out of his hand. But the pressure comes. Sometimes you try to do too much. What's, what's he going to do? What's he going to do in that situation? I think that's going to be the test for the Eagles going forward, if anything. You know, from a commander's perspective, too, because I know we talk about Taylor Heineke, but defensively, Chase Young, we're not going to see him out there. I know there was some yeah. speculation that he could give it a go. It looks like more likely next week. This is him. It, look, 
This is him pregame, so he's getting a little bit closer, but I feel like this is a different dynamic once he is healthy and out on the field. Well, because again, you have a, just another rusher, right? This yeah. league is about quarterbacks, right? Can quarterbacks make the plays? We just finished talking about half of the show, talking about Josh Allen throwing the game away against the Minnesota Vikings, right? And so if you have a, a quarterback or pass rushers, you want to have as many pass rushers as you possibly can to be able to affect the quarterback, especially a quarterback like a Jalen Hurts, especially like the Philadelphia Eagles, because they are undefeated and in your division. There's no one who wants to be out there more than Chase Young. The chip he has on his shoulder after what we saw his rookie season hasn't really been duplicated since. And then injuries on top of that. When he does hit the field? Yeah, yeah, he's going to be ready to go. I'd be worried if he were lining And he's up from the area. Him. He's from the Washington DMV area. So, again, I know, he's, there. Yep. Yeah, I know he's got people at home and stuff trying to say, come on, man, get out on the field. So, I know he wants to be out there. Yep. All right, we got a very big order of business. We got to pick this oh, game. Yes. Our newbie to the Monday yeah, night off. game. Here we go. Lead it off for me. Off. I, okay, um, I got the Eagles winning this one 28 to 17. I think it's just too much Jalen Hurts. I think it's too much of this offensive line and Jason Kelsey leading those one back powers. And this Philadelphia uh, 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 Philadelphia Eagles defense, they know how to get after the quarterback. They do. And they got after Washington last time yep. when they played. So that's that's where I look at it. I'm like, I don't know how that Washington can keep up. 30 17 for me. Yeah. Philly, they're just too good. They don't really show any weaknesses. Offensive line, I think it's going to play a little bit better than they did last week against Houston, and they'll roll. Yeah, I mean, I have the Eagles taking this one as well, but I just don't, I, I, I feel like Taylor Heineke, am I giving him too no, much I like Taylor. confidence? I feel it. like the commanders are going to be able to hang in there he a little bit better. There. I have it 30-25. Okay. Is it? Have we done well when it's a clean sweep? I don't know. I don't want to go back. I haven't been tracking the numbers, numbers, but uh, nonetheless, we'll make it a clean sweep. I'll roll with the Eagles. I, I won't say fly Eagles file, though. <laughs> but you just said it. Just, but you did. 24-20, uh, the final there. And Willie, who's now what did uh, Willie say? Munich Mac. Okay. Oh, my God. I saw that on the call. 31-7. He's also rolling wow. in Philadelphia. So there we go. A uh, little social media action for you. How about some coaches here and some love love. This. Yo, uh, this love. This is it. really cool. Jennifer King, by the way, I got to meet her in Vegas East-West Shrine game, uh, Shrine Bowl game a season ago, kind of coaching up a lot of those running backs. Awesome to see her out on the field. On a Blockwood of the Great. Eagles. And also, uh, Natalia Dorantes from the Commanders. So that's kind of rounding out that group. Really, really cool to see some of that. And uh, how about this little party? And do you do tailgate? Oh, yeah. He's amongst the people. Oh, I like yeah. it. It's safe to yes. go amongst people when you're 8-0. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you go out there all you want. Yeah. <laughs> this is now the time to do it. There. Today is the day. Today There's, is the day. Today is the day. Hell of a party, I'll tell you, in Philadelphia. All right, still to come here on NFL Game Day kickoff. It is presented by Chevron. We asked who needs to step up the most for their team to get the W, but before... It's been kind of like Bill Murray and Groundhog Day. If you don't know the reference, look it up. I'm feeling a little bit old. Uh, this year, when it we comes to you. the Eagles winning, there's a whole lot of that going on inside that locker room. Here's how it sounded right now. It's one story told by eight different dubs. There's a lot to learn from from today. Way to persevere. I'm, I'm going to say the same. I said last week. We know the standard. We know the standard. We talk about the standard. We preach the standard. We practice the standard this whole entire time leading up to this game. We, we still ain't played off the standard. You know we feeling that shit not right. Say so ain't that shit crazy? The details, the preparation, everything we do. Rain, sleet, the snow, the Eagles train to go. We put the work in. We came out here. We dominate these boys. Hey, man, I love y'all boys. It's, it's a family, man. Excellent job competing for four quarters. We got a lot to clean up. And we get better from this. But we still won. One game at a time. I'm freaking proud of you guys. I am because we are. That's going to carry us through a lot of hard times and a lot of good times throughout this entire season. All it took was a clear mind. We're in a 17-round heavyweight championship bout. It's not about who's the toughest. It's about who's the toughest and longest. We'll get this shit fixed, and then we're going to keep rolling. The Thursday night game is an advantage to the team that thinks it's an advantage. It's going to be an advantage for us. we got the right people in play. It's the best start in franchise history. Ain't no, that's pretty, that's pretty exciting. And we can be proud of that. For a couple more days, right? For a couple more days, and then it's right back to